Many times the things that limit us are in what we think they are. They are in the people that don't like us or the ones who try to sabotage us. Our limitations aren't even the corruption or crime in the society or the systems that work against us. Some of the time we are our own limitations. Ask yourself, what exactly is holding me back? Why is it that I never seem to be able to go beyond a certain point? Where do these inconsistencies in my life stem from? When you generally ask yourself these questions, you begin to realize that your limitations all start from one place. Your mind. You see, your mindset could be your biggest stronghold and your ideologies a snare. The thing about mindsets is that they don't just put limits on how far you go in life, but they ensure that regardless of how far you go, they draw you back to square one. And this is fundamental truth we must all come to an agreement on because many people don't know how to unlock their limitations. People attempt to tackle problems from the wrong position, forgetting where it all starts. The mind. Every limitation you have is there because it's in your mind first. So you find that some people think they aren't wealthy because they aren't working hard enough. They think they aren't rich because they haven't gotten the right opportunities or because life is unfair. Some others think they could never have a healthy relationship because they weren't born for it. Many people aren't wealthy because they haven't fixed the most important thing, their mindset. Why aren't you working hard enough? Is it that you don't believe your future is worth putting in the extra effort? Or do you think you'll fail anyways? Or well, there's no need. That's how you get to the root of a limitation. The truth about relationship not working out is simply the two broken people with faulty mindsets and the ideologies can never produce magic. I do not think that there is anyone incapable of building healthy relationships. The problem is always with the mindset. What do you believe you can do? What do you believe you can't do? The reality is that everything we create or produce a life starts from the mind and a faulty mindset or ideology will always give rise to a success that won't last perishable success a success that is non-sustainable so you do want to be successful do you want to explore and harness all your mind and all your potential then you need to unlock your limitations. You need to unpack the mindsets that have held you bound. You need to be released from the shackles of your mind. You need to start from the root. Start by asking yourself some pertinent questions. When did I begin to think this way? Am I this way because my mom thought like this? Is this mindset healthy? Has this mindset contributed to the current state of affairs in my life? Is this mindset necessary? Can it be updated? Does it help me drive my goals forward or is it working against them? Is this mindset somehow rooted in my fears and insecurities? Ask yourself these questions and answer them truthfully because many times the ceiling is in your mind. Your mind is the limitation. You might be praying for a breakthrough, working hard for a breakthrough or even celebrating breakthrough that is yet to come and yet your mindset is working against your breakthrough. Your mindset is working against your goals and aspirations and you're not even aware. To everyone else, you have a big dream. You have huge goals, but in your mind, you don't really believe you can attain any of it. It's almost like you're operating in both faith and fear. You're setting goals, but your mindset is saying, you know, we can never achieve any of this, right? 
Some of you are still holding onto your fear of failure. No one from your family has ever gotten that far, so you don't think you can. You've always thought that success makes people proud, so you're still unsure about the whole thing. You believe that people who grew up where you did never become something in life, so you feel lucky to have come this far. And you wouldn't want to push your work. You are a woman who has heard all your life that women are too emotional to occupy certain positions of power. And even though you claim that you want to destroy the status quo, the truth is, you sometimes wonder if it's not true. So what we find is that you are praying for a breakthrough, but nothing is happening and you're wondering why. Well, now you know, it's your mindset. Your mouth is doing some positive speaking, but your mind is countering it all. Your mindsets are ensuring that they put a limit to whatever it is that you try to attend because you can't rise above them. Hear me again. You can't rise above your mindset. You haven't thought like a millionaire. You could never become one. And if by some stroke of luck, your money gets into your hands, you will squander it. Because everything you will accomplish in life must start from the mind. So you might be there praying for your daughter to come back home, but I put it to you that if she does come back, she's going to go right back out again in no time. You haven't fixed the issue. You had each that drove her out the first place. Why do you think it wouldn't drive her out again? So that's why you see a lot of emphasis being placed on mindset. Do you really believe that you can or are you just trying to believe because you're countering your own efforts? Your mindset ensure that they put a ceiling over your dreams and aspirations. To unlock your limitations, you must begin to unpack your mindsets. And to do that, you must start from the beginning. A fundamental truth you fail to realize is that a lot of the mindsets we have are either inherited or acquired. Many people don't have thoughts of their own. All their beliefs, mindsets, ideologies, all of it were passed on to them and they accept it. Have you ever sat down to process and collate your thoughts on a particular subject? Are there mindsets that you have built up yourself through critical thinking and observation? Have you ever taken time to scrutinize the mindsets you have? And it starts from the most basics to the more complex one. Why do you eat a certain meal every Christmas? It sounds like such a basic question, but when you have a mindset that makes it a law for you to eat a certain meal every Christmas, what happens? If you happen to be stuck somewhere where you can't get the meal or you grow up and have a family who does not like that meal, would it be something you can compromise? Because a lot of us are so rigid about ideas and beliefs that aren't even ours. You stand for things because your parents did. You've never questioned why. You start from the beginning. Maybe you're failing at your relationships and is a source of concern for you. A good place to start will be to question your mindset and beliefs about relationships. How did you build them? Have you built any ideas of yours or are they all passed down? Is it possible that you treat women the way you do because that's how you saw women being treated while growing up? Is it possible that somehow you expect every man to be a certain way because that's the image you have of your dad and that's what your mama told you about men? Have you inherited views about money from your parents? Here's the truth. If you have the same ideology and beliefs about money as your parents do, you can never be richer than them. Yes. So in effect, what I'm saying is every time you want to move to the next level, you've got to move your mind to the next level first. Your mindset may have been good for your last season, but for the new one, you're going to have upgrade it first. The key to unlocking your limitations isn't just discovering your faulty mindsets or beliefs, it's realizing that you have the power to change them. You want to unlock your limitations? Go ahead, you have the key, unlock it. You have the power to reject the mindsets that have held you down. You have the power to begin to form new thoughts and beliefs about your life. It's your life. 
Decide how you intend to live it. But more importantly, what you intend to live by.